We have breaking news out of the South Valley. Six people are dead in a shooting spree in Bakersfield. It's a horrible story. The crime included several different locations in a carjacking of a mother and a child. We sent a crew from Fresno. It was reported around 520 earlier this evening. Uh, we're told that's when a husband and wife showed up at the business and confronted somebody there. That's when the husband shot and killed that person. Now, deputies say the suspect then chased a witness to that shooting and shot and killed that person as well. The suspect then drove to a house, shot and killed two more people, and is believed to have driven to another area where he carjacked a vehicle with a woman and a child inside of it. That's when he was then confronted by a deputy. He put a gun to his chest and killed himself. And the sheriff doesn't think any of this is random. At about 520 this afternoon, deputies responded to um, a re um, business across the street, a trucking business on, on Manuel Street, uh, to shots fired. They were, when they got there, they found um, uh, what, what they learned was a husband and wife showed up that, at the uh, trucking business and confronted a, a male subject at the business. The husband shot and killed the um, victim at the, truck, at the trucking business. A, another subject showed up, fired around at him and then chased him around to in front of Bear Mountain Sports where he shot him and killed him. Suspect then left the area and uh, went over on Breckenridge Road where he went to a residence and confronted two more people where he shot both of them. He then uh, went around to uh, Fillmore Street where he hijacked a vehicle with a woman and a child in it. They were able to escape. Uh, he took that vehicle and drove to Edison Highway where a deputy uh, saw him. He saw the deputy pulled into a, to a lot where the deputy confronted him with a firearm and the suspect uh, put the gun to his chest and, and uh, killed himself. So what we know right now is that we have six uh, people uh, dead, five victims and one suspect. Uh, the reason for this, we're you know, right at the beginning of the stages of this investigation. Obviously, there's some type of, of uh, situation that caused the husband to be extremely upset. And when we know what that reason is for sure, we'll be happy to share it with you. Uh, but right now we have uh, five dead and uh, or six dead, five victims and one suspect. The sheriff, a lot of firearms recovered? I'm sorry? Any firearm, firearms recovered? On any there will be a firearm, firearms recovered, yes. The sheriff, a lot of moving parts. Can yes. you go through that timeline just one more time and really? Well, it, yeah, it, it happened rather, rather quickly, of course. Uh, when, when the uh, suspect went to the trucking business with his wife, uh, together they went there and confronted uh, another male subject and at that time uh, the uh, suspect, the husband, uh, shot the person at the trucking company and then turned and shot his wife and then a third male subject showed up and he fired at him and chased him around to Bear Mountain Sports where he shot him and he and killed him. Then he went over to uh, Breckenridge Road, went to another residence, confronted two people there, shot uh, both of them, they both died. Uh, then carjacked a vehicle, a vehicle with a woman and a child in it. Uh, the, a deputy found him on Edison Highway driving. He saw the deputy and pulled into a lot where the deputy confronted him with the firearm and uh, he, uh, the suspect killed himself. Did the deputy fire the firearm? Not that I know of. And so where is the wife and where do we go from here? Well, the wife's dead. Uh, where we go from here is trying to find out why this started and why so many people, so many players involved in the connection? Because obviously, uh, these are not random shootings. So one female deceased, all the rest are male. That's correct. Okay. Uh, do you know the age range of the two? Uh, the second. I don't have the ages on any of them yet, and we, we haven't had the opportunity to positively identify them and, and notify the next of kin. No minors. Though, minors that uh, none, no minors that I'm aware of. We know we have the six deceased. Do we have any injuries or any? Not that I'm aware of, uh, just the five uh, victims who were deceased and the suspect who was also deceased. So there are two in, a, in the residence on Breckenridge? That's correct. And then they're both males, you said? Yes. And there are no, like you mentioned, there are no other people that were shot that were not. I have no information on anybody else shot other than the six people that we're talking about. How old was the child that was in the car that was hiding? I don't have any idea. And they're safe, the people in, that were... Yes, they are. Yes. Have you recovered the vehicle that was carjacked? Yes. Now, other than the carjacked vehicle, are you guys feeling that these are connected? Certainly, there's there's a connection. You don't randomly go to a certain residence 
uh, you know, I'm certainly speculating right now at this point, but uh, I'm pretty comfortable there will be a connection between all of these players. How difficult is it to process multiple scenes like this given the, the life ending nature? Yeah, this will be, a, this will be a, uh, most of the night, most of tomorrow probably be because of the, there's numerous crime scenes, uh, 30 people, 30 witnesses that we have. Uh, we do have a body cam video from the officer that, con that confronted the uh, suspect. Well, I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. Uh, but we'll get to that for you guys as, as soon as we can. These were employees that worked in. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if they're employees or not. Okay, in the Bear Mountain Sports, they obviously sell firearms. Can we confirm that none of their firearms or any of their? I do not believe. I, I spoke with the owner of Bear Mountain Sports uh, early on, and uh, she assured me her employees were fine and that it was not uh, related to their business. And we don't know if maybe that woman or the husband or any of them worked at any of those businesses. I don't know that yet. And so just to clarify this, Martin, so he, the two of them go into the trucking company, something sets the suspect off, he shoots both his wife and an employee at the trucking company. A, a, a male there, I don't know. A, a man. Yes. And then someone confronts him. Someone else shows up. Right. He and he fires, he fires at him and then chases him around the building to in front of Bear Mountain Sports where he shoots him and ultimately he dies and then leaves the area and goes over to Breckenridge Road, Breckenridge Road to a residence where he then confronts two more people. So this started at a truck company further down on uh, Manuel Bear Street, Manuel. Right, right behind Bear Mountain Sports, okay. yes. Do you know the name of the trucking company? I do not. Is the third guy, or the guy that showed up at the trucking company, is he, did he know that person? I have no idea at this point. Okay. We'll try and make those connections uh, in, in the next day or two, you know, for who knew who, and if there are any uh, uh, victims that were not part of this, that just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's, I don't know that yet. This has got to be an incredibly difficult investigation going forward, correct? Yeah, this was all hands on deck. We, uh, people were called out uh, from just about every uh, division in the organization as, uh, as we learned uh, the seriousness and the numbers. Uh, this is highly unusual to have... Uh, six people uh, shot and killed in, in one incident. From the first person that was, from when that husband and wife arrived at that business and from the moment that the suspect shot and killed himself, how much time did they I, I'm, I, th I think it was a very short period of time, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And the gun he had, handgun, shotgun, rifle, and... Right, uh, right now I know of a handgun. I don't know if, if there's more involved. Anything else? How many weapons? I only know of one right now. We'll keep you updated uh, with, with further information. We'll probably have a follow-up press conference tomorrow where we'll be able to probably give you more information. And also there was a current county fire with you guys or any other agencies responding? Oh, I'm sure that uh, fire responded. It it's a, would be a medical aid call. I'm sure that they, they did, yes. Very last question for you, Sheriff. When was the last time this department had to handle anything remotely close to this? Uh, we had the Robert Courtney case a few years ago. That was a, a, a really an enormous case, but not that many uh, people were, were shot and killed. This is uh, uh, six people lost their lives in a very short period of time. This is highly unusual. This would be considered, technically speaking, a mass shooting? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do we know if the uh, died at the I'm sorry? I believe that he did. The female was transported and she died at, uh, either in route or at the hospital. The husband, yeah, I, I don't know. You see things like this happen in other parts of the country. I mean, it's happening here in Prince Kelly now. Um, yeah, this is uh, the, the, the new normal. The, you know, if you look across this country, these type of shootings, uh, and this is really tough for us because we're in the middle of a fiscal emergency where we're, we have a limited number of personnel, and this required a, a call out of a, a lot of people to uh, uh, be out all night to, to work on this case because there's so many different uh, fingers this investigation. I mean, 30 people to be interviewed at least that we know of that are witnesses and then uh, the different crime scenes, each one has to be worked and it's uh, meticulous so that we get the story straight at, at the end and we know we have a, a true scenario of what really occurred. All we know is what I've told you right now. Right. It was most of your department that responded to this? I can tell you units from just about every division, yes. Any other briefing before or that the investigation? I, I don't think, we, I think it's so massive that we won't have anything more until tomorrow.
give us a chance tonight to to put the pieces together and, and hopefully by uh, tomorrow, uh, middle of the afternoon, we'll have something to, to share with you. Okay? Sure. You can share here. All right. And that was Kern County Sheriff Donnie Youngblood you heard from right there. He told reporters that he believes shootings like this are now the new normal. He also said the officer who confronted the suspect was wearing a body camera, but officials have not yet gotten a chance to take a look at the footage yet. And guys, if there is any good news out of this is that we've learned the woman and that small child in the car, they did make it out okay. Neither of them are injured. I'll send it back to you.